multi-million dollar wasa scam uncovered in mon diablo and coming up later on in sport soccer warriors highlight the positives in their loss to canada Good evening, I'm Doris Polo and this is the Weekend News here on CNC3. Thank you so much for joining us. Top of the news tonight, landowners at two more developments from the same company, Policy Consultants Limited, have been waiting for years for homes they paid for. They now join landowners at a Santa Cruz development who have been waiting as many as 21 years to build their dream homes, with the company blaming missing approvals. Reporter Joshua Simangal has this story. Three developments and potentially as many as five under Policy Consultants Limited that remain with approval issues for more than a decade. Over the last 17 years, families purchased lots from Policy Consultants at its Grants Park development in Rousselac. They paid as much as $300,000 for a lot. They say they were promised by the company's director, former minister and recent UNC temporary senator, Dr. Carson Charles, that all approvals would be sorted within six months of purchase. All these years later, utility approvals remain outstanding. We were given a lot of positive talk, which we know now was a lot of gas up talk from policy consultants, because we have people here who buy land over 17 years and still struggling, no water. We buy water. Landowners pay between $400 to $500 for a truckload of water. Around 10 families are building their homes brick by brick with cash. Without approvals, they cannot access bank loans. Desperate, they have little option but to try and obtain approvals themselves. Because Mr. Charles did not pay the interconnection fee to Wasser, so we were advised by the MP to go and find out the cost. And when we went there, it was upwards of 45000 Mm -hmm. And I think that is unfair and it's unjust that after spending all this money, all these residents now have to come now and fork out extra money in order to pay for a connection from us. I think it's unfair. As was the case with the Santa Cruz development, Policy Consultants Limited asked the Rusalak development landowners to pay $5,000 each for water meters. Don't trust those in authority, whether it's politician or whoever. Don't trust them. Last December, a group of homeowners also had to put up $64,000 to pay TN Tech to get electricity. Sharmila, whose name was changed, was one of those who paid. She bought her land in 2014. All of our life savings and everything was invested in this, you know, so we really didn't have a choice. At this point, what we would want to, in addition to proper roads, drainage, water, standpipes, street lights, in addition to all of that, we would want Mr. Charles to reimburse us for the monies paid to Tiantec. Homeowners are calling on opposition leader Kamala Pusad Basesa to take action against Dr. Carson Charles. They say his behavior is bringing her party into disrepute. We're demanding that he never sits in Senate again because he doesn't deserve to represent anybody in Trinidad and Tobago. Landowners at Policy Consultant Limited's Ocean View Development in Claxton Bay also reported facing approval issues for more than 15 years. Two landowners told CNC3 News that as a result, they can't get their deeds. Policy Consultants Limited Director Dr. Carson Charles told CNC3 News that developments have been delayed by what he called a problematic approval process. He denied claims of fraud, saying his company remains committed to working towards solutions. Joshua Simongo, CNC3 News. Opposition Senator Wade Mark says the United National Congress is one party with one vision. He made the comment in response to calls by his colleague, Mayaro MP Rushton Parry, for fresh executive elections as he vies for the party's leadership. Mark says the UNC has a constitution, which is what will guide the party's next internal polls. Until the NATEX, which is the national executive, takes a decision consistent with the Constitution to hold internal elections, there is one party. Senator Mark added that elections will only take place when it is constitutionally due. That time has not arrived. And all we are saying to everyone, all and sundry, 
we are a strong and resilient party. Last week, Mayor MP Rushton Parry openly called for executive elections, aiming at changing the leadership of the United National Congress. However, several party members have issued releases condemning Parry's actions, including Chief Whip David Lee, Khadija Amin, Saddam Hussein, Vandana Mohit, Dr. Lakram Bodo, and the UNC Youth Arm, who asked if Parry was trying to take the party backward. Now, staying with politics, with Chief Secretary Fali Augustin confirming his plans for a THA reshuffle, we asked people in Tobago if they agree with his decision. I agree because it is healthy for the nation, because sometimes we get comfortable and we just don't do what we're supposed to do. So when you shuffle them, we actually get jobs done. No because they should have known that before. Now is the time for them to bind themselves together. Why are they doing that? Right, I don't agree with that. Sometimes you have to rearrange to look at the potentials and you know what I mean, probably look at um, strengthening other portfolios to different people and that kind of thing. If they did not please us well, and even though they please us well, then you try them in another area again, that you know that where their um, capability is. Well, it's not a matter of I agreeing to it, but is what he see fit. Tell him he have no intelligence for it. When he learn that, I will second. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley made a clarion call to the spiritual Shouter Baptist community for their help to end the threat of crime and violence in the country. Dr. Rowley made the call during the People's National Movement Spiritual Baptist Liberation Day celebrations at the party's headquarters at Balize House yesterday. I want to say to you, the spiritual Baptist, as I call out to parents across the nation, to try and break the cycle of what is happening now by paying attention to raising your children. And if there's anything you can teach the people of Trinidad and Tobago, you the spiritual Baptist, you can teach the people of Trinidad and Tobago how to raise their children with moral and spiritual values. Dr. Rowley also told the Spiritual Baptist community he was pleased that its headquarters and car park in Balmain, Coover has been built with the $10 million given to the community in 2020, and he would now consider the next $10 million for their cathedral. I intend to ask the Cabinet at the next session, having got confirmation that you've made full use of the first half to get you the second half. And somewhere farther along, we'll gather like this in the cathedral of the spiritual Baptist in Bali. He adds that it was originally supposed to be a $20 million grant and land in Balmain, Coover, but they only received half because at the time they were more divided than together. <laughs> Public Utilities Minister Marvin Gonzalez has blown the lid on a water trucking scam in the rural community of Mon Diablo, revealing that one of the illegal operators is a former WASA manager. Shaliza Hassanali and cameraman Che Tikasing have the details. <laughs> A thriving water truck in Rocket, which has left the pockets of Mon Diablo residents drier than their taps, is now the subject of an investigation by the Water and Sewerage Authority. The essential commodity is then sold to desperate residents. You also have people within the organization who are aligned with people outside of the organization to maintain the status quo because they're getting the kickbacks from way behind. As an interim measure, WASA has been delivering water to the community. The authority is also installing 2.4 kilometers of pipeline, costing $2.3 million. Gonzalez questioned how a small group of unscrupulous men could have manipulated the system as they... Invested in water trucks, preventing the water from reaching you, and then taking the same water and sell it to you all. How come them people not in jail? 
Gonzalez said if the residents were to tabulate how much they have paid for water, it would amount to? You're talking about millions of dollars. It is a multi-million dollar racket that is taking place. It's easy and fast money for the illegal operators. Gonzalez was told by residents in the community that one truck of this illegal business makes a cool $5,000 a day selling water. This is robbery with violence. You know, he robbing Wasa and he robbing me because we paying tax, tax money, we, pay, we paying tax money, we paying um, Wasa bills and we still paying $300 so he making a lot of money and he's only one. Resident Ajit Balgobin felt the drivers are deeply rooted in their illegal operations and it would be hard to stamp them out. We brace one of the truckmen. I know what he said, how they will live. So this is a way of life for them. We can make a citizen arrest, but most of these men, they have guns. No, I'm serious, they have guns. The minister told CNC3, that accumulating Wasser's water and its sales is an offense. The fine is $75, which Gonzalez agreed needed review to protect the weak and vulnerable. Shaliza Asanali, CNC3 News. Well, it's time now for a break. We'll be right back. You've set big goals for your future, and we can help you to achieve them. Getting that degree you've always wanted, buying your first car, making it official on a truly special day or building a home that's your own big or small share your ambitions with us and we can help make them real Ramadan Kareem from Southern Food Basket. Get goat stew $22.95 per pound, beef stew five pounds for $99, Rabi dates 500 gram $24.95, Sultanas $8.95 per pound, extra large chana two pounds for $18.95, split peas five pounds for $17.95, cocoa two liter three for $24.95, blue waters 410 ml five cases for $100, Mabel ketchup 750 ml three for $22.95, smart buy paper towels four for $17. 95. Get the best for less at Southern Food Basket this Ramadan. Visit us at Coffee Street San Fernando, SS Erin Road Pinal, St. Charles Village, Princess Town, Southern Main Road Point 14. Ferrera Optical is inside Massey Stores, Gulfview and Marabella. Explore our bold and trendy collections of eyewear. Experience the latest lens technology. Earn and redeem points with your Massey card at Ferrera Optical inside Massey Stores, Gulfview and Marabella. Jimmy Abood will pay your VAT until Good Friday. Take 12.5% off any item. No exceptions at our Port of Spain and Barataria locations. From now until Good Friday, Jimmy Abood pays your VAT on any purchase. I'm here with John Walsh. You guys may know him from America's Most Wanted. So, John, tell me, how has the addition of Omega XL to your daily routine affected your overall lifestyle? Incredibly. I was very skeptical. I catch bad guys for a living. I've had two fractured skulls, two broken jaws, eight concussions, eight broken noses. So I'm always searching for something to mediate that pain. If you're living with joint or muscle pain caused by inflammation, try Omega XL and see the difference it can make in your life. We're going to do this together. Call CW Interiors to get your free consultation on custom fabricated blinds and shades. Choose unique classic or modern designs, functional for privacy and controlled natural lighting in your room. You can even have them motorized for extra comfort and convenience too. Are you ready to get measured? Call CW Interiors, making quality affordable. Visit CWInteriors.com for more. Welcome to 100 Below, where savings are always sky high. It's the largest clearance sale ever. All clothing items for only $60. Yes, you heard it right. $60. Shop top American brands at our Dewe, Faisabad, Makoya, and Gulfview locations. We're open Tuesday to Sunday from 9 a.m. Sale runs from March 14th to April 2nd. 100 billion. Trendy stuff at bargain prices.
Welcome back. The Southwest Regional Health Authority is refuting claims by Cova North MP Ravi Ratiram that the Cedrus Health Center does not offer a 24-hour service. Ratiram made the claim during his contribution on a private motion in Parliament on Friday on the delivery of health care services in the country. He claimed the service was scrapped when the Rowley-led PNM government took office. On Saturday, however, the authority issued a statement to say that since 2015, the health center operates a 24-hour ambulatory emergency service and is adequately staffed with medical professionals at all times of day and night. Additionally, the SWRHA said it is both reminding and cautioning members of the public of the need for responsible commentary, particularly in reference to the public health sector to ensure that confidence is continually maintained. It also says anyone who needs clarity on their operation times and services is encouraged to call 87-SWRHA or 877-9742. Archbishop Jason Gordon has called for a more generous nation towards the Matura children who have become the center of attention since skeletal remains were found at their Valsine home. The head of the Roman Catholic Church in TNT also lamented the need to assist those battling the plight of crime. He made the comment as Christians across the country celebrated Palm Sunday. Ryan Bechu has this report. Christians across the country joined with the rest of the world to mark the start of Holy Week from the cathedrals of the north to the humble churches of the south. In Sangre Grande, spiritual Baptists led a Palm Sunday procession through the streets. Palm Sunday commemorates the triumphant return of Jesus into Jerusalem, where crowds of people waved palm branches and also spread it across the ground as he rode in on a donkey. It also kickstarts Holy Week, not only the most important week on the Christian calendar, but also what one priest describes as the richest week in Christianity's history. In Port of Spain, the Anglican and Roman Catholic churches joined for the procession through the streets of the capital. Vicar General Father Martin Sergiu hailed the Christian collaboration for a common cause, as opposed to fighting for turf in the city. Turf wars, an all too common problem facing the capital. At Our Lady of Perpetual Help, Archbishop Jason Gordon called for generosity for those being crucified with crime in our communities. That generosity pure not poured out on the families of those who have been killed in our society over the last while. That pure not poured out on those children from Valsane and the horror that they've had to live through in the face of what might seem like just terror in their life. At the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, Father Peter Aduaka called out leaders who live luxurious lives. This is contrary to what we see today in our world, where our rulers, our leaders, live in the best conditions, while their people live in poverty. A final call from religious leaders for the country to look deep within its conscience as the last leg of Lent begins. Ryan Beju, CNC3 News. Member of Parliament for Arima, Penelope Beckles, says she is happy that men in her constituency are taking their health seriously. The MP and the Pinto SDA Church joined together to host a health fair for Santa Rosa residents. This is the second installment of the church initiative, which took place at the Santa Rosa Government Primary School. One of the things that I've observed, because this is the second one in Arima, but I know they have done Diego Martin, La Roqueta, um, all over the country, is the increased number of men attending the clinics today. So um, I just want to say to the men that we are happy that you are coming out, um, and we are happy that you are comfortable enough to come and talk about this issue in the health. Attendees were able to do several health diagnostic tests at the fair, including for cancer and cholesterol. Still to come in sport, TNT national Tyree Spicer is on target for Toronto FC in the MLS. Unlock your mind's incredible capacity like never before. Introducing Advances Smart Plus, the groundbreaking solution that over time can help supercharge your memory, concentration, and unleash your mental performance. Our cutting-edge formula features an unparalleled blend of 13 clinically researched natural ingredients. 
selected for its proven ability to work synergistically to help optimize brain function. Feel the difference now with Advances Smart Plus. Available at leading pharmacies and Pennywise nationwide. Call CW Interiors to get your free consultation on custom fabricated blinds and shades. Choose unique classic or modern designs, functional for privacy and controlled natural lighting in your room. You can even have them motorized for extra comfort and convenience too. Are you ready to get measured? Call CW Interiors, making quality affordable. Visit cwinteriors.com for more. Jimmy Abood will pay your VAT until Good Friday. Take 12.5% off any item. No exceptions at our Port of Spain and Barataria locations. From now until Good Friday, Jimmy Abood pays your VAT on any purchase. I've definitely seen a difference in my knees, the stiffness in my hips. Because it's an oil extract, I think of it like olive oil in between my joints that are loosening it up. Omega XL has really kept us feeling great. The only thing you have to lose is the pain. Arima Door Center, manufacturers of quality wooden panel doors, flush doors, pine doors, cedar doors, kitchen cupboard doors. Arima Door Center, located at number 4 Cleaver Road, Arima. Arima Door Center, made in TNT. So many ways, every day, so many ways, every day, so many target can be fit. You can get it in the morning, you can get it in the evening too. You can get it in the night time. Target Gone Beef's there for you, yeah. Every day so many ways. Target Gone Beef's good up for days. For your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, make sure you choose a winner. Now she want me to eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. Target Gone Beef, believe it, cannot refuse it. Eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. Eat it. Target Gone Beef, yeah. New look, same great taste, same great quality. Distributed by Amco, a subsidiary of Anta Macau. Welcome to Anando Price Industrial Tires, your destination for quality and durability on the road. Introducing our top notch tire brands Step Rising, Grimax, and Dura. Unleash the power of Step Rising, where quality meets strength. Experience a longevity of Duran, built to withstand the test of time. Embrace the road with confidence on Grimax tires, engineered for durability. Visit our showroom at South Haven Shopping Center, David, where our wide range of tires are wins. Quality is not just our promise, it's our commitment to you. What if you can't make it to us? No worries. We can bring the tire shop to your doorstep. Enjoy free delivery because your convenience matters. Your time is precious and so is your vehicle. Don't compromise safety. Remember, tires are the foundation to your journey. Say no to cheap inferior tires. Invest wisely in the longevity and performance of your vehicle. We understand that tires are more than just rubber. They are the connection between you and the road. Worried about affordability? Fear not. We offer quality prices that won't break the bank. Because we believe everyone deserves the best. Anna Low Price Tires, your trusted partner in quality, durability, and convenience. Contact us at 366-4783. Let your journey begin with tires you trust. Welcome back. Kicking off our sportcast. After the crushing defeat to Canada yesterday, Soka Warriors talisman Levi Garcia and Captain Aubrey David reflected on the loss. Rajiv Surat Singh has more. Canada is headed to the Copa America and a historic matchup with reigning World Cup champions Argentina in their opening encounter. But it took a while to get there as a well-organized Soka Warriors outfit proved hard to pierce in the CONCACAF Nations League play in match yesterday in Frisco, Texas. Second half goals by Kyle Larin and Jacob Schaffelberg earned Canada a 2-0 win and a trip to the South American Championship as one of six CONCACAF guest teams. After the loss, Soka Warriors and AEK Athens talisman Levi Garcia commented on the chances wasted by the Warriors. I took um, responsibility for those chances. I took responsibility for a lot of things because I know what, what the team expect, expects from me. And hopefully I can also learn from these mistakes and move forward, you know. I will take any, any amount of pressure that I will receive after this game. But what I, what I can say is I will learn from it and continue to move forward. And despite the defeat, 
Captain Aubrey David remained positive on the performance. And there's a lot of positives to take away from it. Must say the boys gave everything that, that they had. And we this is something that we could continue to build on. We need to build on this momentum coming with the World Cup qualifiers in June starting. So I think it's it's something we can build on. It's a performance we can build on. And must commend the boys for the effort tonight. Rajiv Surat Singh, CNC3 Sport. Win, lose or draw, we still support Soka Warriors. Staying with football, TNT National Tyree Spicer found the back of the net in the first half as host Toronto FC downed Atlanta United 2-0 in the MLS yesterday. DeAndre Kerr prodded the assist to help Spicer's 35th minute strike, the first of his MLS career. Spicer, the first overall pick in December's 2024 MLS Super Draft, fired from between a pair of Atlanta defenders. His excellent effort put Toronto 1-0 ahead. Well, Kenya's Alex Akesa and Colombian Palmenia Berio claim the respective top spots in the men's and women's categories of the TNT International Marathon today. The course began at St. Mary's Junction in Freeport and concluded at the Queen's Park Savannah in Port of Spain. Both winners joined the long list of foreign entrants who have successfully complete, competed rather, in local marathons. Akesa stopped the clock at 2 hours, 31 minutes and 28 seconds for the top spot, gold medal, and cash reward, while Barrio produced a jaw-dropping seventh-place finish overall in a field that consisted of some 100 participants. Barrio had only male participants on the stretch as she strutted to the finish line in style, leaving scores of male competitors in her trail. She definitely would have beaten me. Well, TNT netball and goal shooter Samantha Wallace-Joseph had another solid outing on her return from a two-year injury layoff to help guide the New South Wales Swifts to their first Suncor Team Girls Cup on their Ken Rosewall Arena home court in Sydney Olympic Park today. This after Wallace-Joseph and the Swifts edged out Melbourne Vixens 45-44 in the Super Netball's preseason tournament. With a win, the Swifts topped the 14 table with nine points and a 2-1 win-loss record. The same as the Firebirds, but with a superior goal difference of plus 11 to minus 8, while the Fever placed third with 7 points and Mavericks fourth with 4 points. It's time now for another break. Don't go anywhere. Coming up, the world's finest cocoa comes from the Caribbean and the awards are piling up. Caribbean Airlines welcomes you home. Learn more about Republic Bank's Power to Make a Difference program and regional ties deepen as Barbados networks in Trinidad and Tobago. All this and more on Caribbean Passport TV, CNC3, Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Did the holiday spending put a dent in your cash? Well, hear what? Top up your pocket in the Cash Splash promotion. Win over $200,000, including over 65000 in our weekly draws. Well, hear what to do. Grab any cool, cool, turbo energy drink, fruiter, cool kids, Viva, or Oasis water. Then visit Facebook or Instagram at Cold Cold Caribbean or Fruiter Fruit Juice Official for more details. Let's top up your pocket with the Cash Splash promotion. All right, it's time to take a look at tomorrow's weather forecast. The Met Office says tomorrow is mostly fair and at times will be breezy with dominate after and dominate after some brief early morning showers. Tomorrow's maximum forecast temperature in Trinidad is 33 degrees, while Tobago will experience a high of 32 degrees Celsius. Seas are moderate with waves up to two meters in open waters and near one meter in sheltered areas. That's all the time we have. Thank you so much for joining us for the 7 p.m. news here on CNC3. I'm Doris Polo. As always, on behalf of myself and the rest of the team, have a good night. CNC3.